Greetings, dear viewers! I'm Coil Quickguard, and welcome back to Metroid Prime 2 Echoes, where I missed a log, which was just right there and completely easy to see from Broad. Man, I hope that I hope that is the only breeding ground for these things. If there's more, we're in big trouble. We've had a hard enough time taking that one out of commission. I almost ran out of ammo. I never run out of ammo. And that is it for all the Force One Trooper logs. Let's move on. All right. And this is the final Trooper log from Dennis. I'm the only one left. Managed to get out of the hive, but when I got to the ship, everyone was gone. Dead. I'm heading for that alien building we saw earlier. Maybe someone can help me there. Wait, s something's moving down there. H Hello? Alright, that's it. Confirmed, no survivors. Scans indicate the presence of a control system. Whoa, okay. That's enemies. War wasps. Cool. I hate war wasps. Whoop. Alright, get, get out of my way. Whoop. You little jerks. Okay. Okay. So it said that scans indicated the presence of a control system. What are these? A storage device. Most of the materials used to make it are indigenous. It's sturdy, but not indestructible. Okay. So I dropped from above, right? Uh What what am I missing here? That's where I fell. Is there some other Hmm. Ah, here we go. Power restored to the kinetic cannon. Perfect. Let's roll. Alright, there is a war wasp hive. Okay, war wasp hive taken out. Uh, anything else in this area that I need? Uh, nope. Okay. Although I do see another hive. I can't jump that high. Alright, I hear the wasps. Where did they come from? Alright, there it is. I see the other hive. Nope. Damn it. Come on. Get a better aim on it. There. Fire. Okay. Hive taken down. Yeah, I thought so. Can't make that jump. Why are there more of them? Is there a hive I missed? That's another kinetic cannon. Ooh. Just a giant wall section, huh? Which might break if hit by explosives. I mean, that weakened it. Structure integrity, cryptal. 
A heavy impact may cause it to shatter. That's a destroyed... Okay. So, there has to be at least one more War Wasp Hive. Where is what I am looking for? Seriously, what? Where are they coming from? So, this kinetic cannon would break it. Okay, you came from over here. Ah, there we go. There's the control for the cannon. Got it. Progress is being made. Bioscan complete. Target has been dead for eight cycles. Trace amounts of unknown chemical present in target. It has an effect similar to mummification on dead biomatter. Further analysis required to determine chemicals' effect on living biomatter. Okay. Power relay is connected. Elevator unit online. Alright. Success. Actually making some real progress. We have reached the Great Temple. Let me just update my little checklist here. Okay. Area resource scan complete. Local save beacon is active. Okay. Just straight ahead. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay, there is a bunch of little things. Uh, I wasn't able to get them. If I reset the room, will they fly again? No. What if I went up and down the elevator? Would that reset them? J just curious. These are also not missable, but I really prefer to just get things over and done with as soon as possible. And yes, they do use rocket-powered elevators in this world. Because apparently someone on this planet was an engineering lunatic. Yeah, there's no way in hell that that's safe. Alright, let's try again. Got him! Alright, we got the sand bats. Perfect. Uh, I think that's the only thing I need to scan in this room. But, we can save. Game is saved, energy fully replenished. Alright, let's get going, Samus. Hello! Uh-oh. Splinters.
Uh oh. That's not good. Alright, gonna have to deal with dark splinters. Oh. Okay. Are these... Alright, yeah, these are just regular dark splinters. Shouldn't be too much of a problem to take them out. The thing about this game is you have to be careful. Because enemies can hurt you way more than you would expect them to be able to. Like, these little things pack a punch. Okay. Here is an Alpha Splinter. Gigantic Predator. Very swift and strong. Uses ramming attacks to defeat its foes. Whoa. You jerk. Whoa. Oof. Yeah, do you see how much energy it just took off of me? And that's before it even went to phase two. Alright. And here is our first boss. A dark alpha splinter. Alpha male of a darkling war pack. A gigantic predator with symbiote enhanced strength, speed, and armor. So, that's not good. But I saved my missiles specifically for this phase. And yes, these ones will fire projectiles. It does not take too many hits from Darklings to kill you. And this thing has already soaked a lot of damage, and it's only a little lower than... Well, now it's at about a quarter, but... Yeah. Do not underestimate that is 20 damage right there. Whoo! Damn. That was rough. It left a glowy. Unknown technology. System alert. Unknown item acquired. Alien technology has bonded to armor systems. Threat scan complete. No negative impact on suit performance. Cool. Back behind these walls, we have units identified as hibernetic stasis chambers. Life signs of hibernating bioforms within the chambers are steady. Chambers are made of a number of exotic metals. It would be quite difficult to breach them with conventional weapons. So this temple is very much like a life pod. Um... I, I don't suppose there's anything I can do here, huh? Uh, nope, just through the door. Yes, if you would mind activating the elevator, please. Thank you. I am guessing from the speed that, for whatever reason, this elevator, they decided not to power with rockets.
Hello, alien. Do not be afraid. I am Umos, sentinel of the Luminoth. Please listen and hear of our world's peril. Long ago, a cosmic object fell to our planet, ether exploding with great force. A rift was torn in time and space, and a strange power flowed over the world. Where once there was one aether, there were now two, one of light and one of shadow, each existing in its own dimension. It was the end of peace on Aether, for a new race was born that day on the Dark World, one filled with hate and terrible power. They are the Ing. The Ing are creatures of shadow and darkness, knowing nothing of peace or mercy. For decades we stood against them, yet we now lie on the verge of defeat. When Dark Aether was born, our planetary injury energy was divided, half for our world and half for theirs. Should one world gain control of this energy, the other will perish. Before you arrived, the Ing had stolen a device from us, one that collects planetary energy. With it, they have weakened our planet to the verge of collapse. But fortune smiled upon us this day, for the energy transfer module is now bonded to you. With it, you can help us. Help us restore our world. You are our only hope, Samus. Should we fall, the Ing will look to the stars for new planets to ravage and conquer. Your species could be their next victims. The Ing have taken our energy to three temples on Dark Aether. Find these temples and transfer the energy from them to our own. I have updated your map system with the location of another temple. There is knowledge there that can help you on your way. I have also updated your translator module. You can now access devices and doors coded with violet holograms. Many lands are now open to you. Prepare well for your journey. The Ing now know you possess the energy transfer module. They will try to recover it at all costs. Return to me once you have restored the energy to a temple. I will aid you as I can. May the light of ether shine upon you. Alright. So, let's do some scanning. We have found the energy controller. Regional energy controller. Unit regulates planetary energy in this sector and is linked to a global energy network. Well, that sounds interesting. And this is Luminoth. Subject is Umos, a sentinel of the Luminoth. Scans indicate numerous beneficial abilities, including heightened reflexes, durabilities, psionics, and flight. Ability to generate and manipulate energy on par with that of the Chozo. Dating scans suggest an age of 2.15 centicycles, only known active member of the species remaining Luminoth locked in protective stasis until crisis is resolved. So, not just any random member. He can even manipulate the life forms in here. You saw him create a life that they're attracted to. They kind of remind me of moths a little bit. I, I think it's especially those... Uh, I don't know if they are ears or feathers, but they're very antenna-like. And their body construction definitely suggests a segmented anatomy. And it looks like they have wings on their back. 
I don't know if they're actually vestigial or useful, but the the Luminoth do seem very moth-like. And we have found our first piece of Luminoth lore. The Origins. It is told that the Luminoth were not born of ether, but of the stars. In the early days we roamed the greatness of the void, bathing in the glorious light of a thousand stars. We met a vast number of enlightened minds, the Inkren, the Ela, and the Chozo among them. Each of them, we found, had claimed a homeworld and formed a deep bond with it. In time, we decided to do the same. I also love how even their writing system seems to be made up of... It's very, very much like an alien system. Just composed of these, like, cubic lattices of light and points. It's very, very interesting. So we can open it in violet doors, huh? Uh, violet. Pathway to Aegon. Beyond the pathway to Aegon sector lies. Alright. This is our destination. Oh, that's definitely some kind of a light form. A light flyer, a light generating flyer. A target, okay, it's a mechanoid, is quite durable, it can fire bursts of energy in combat. Uh, okay. Do you get upset when I charge things? No? There we go, got some missiles back. Alright, let's take another uh, rocket-powered elevator. And proceed to the next area. And this leads us back here. Let this gateway forever protect our sacred temple. So where am I at exactly? Okay, so I am here. Uh, there is a red door, so I think I want to prioritize that. Um... Can I actually backtrack to that trooper security station and, um, try to get the cocoon there? First I'm gonna check out the red door, and then I'm gonna do that. Alright, red door is... low, and it seems... there it is. Oh. Damn it, those were more splinter cocoons. I have got to pay more attention to these damn things. Alright, whatever. Just just let me through the damn door. Okay, please get out of the way of the door. Please get out of the way of the door. Thank you. We have found our first energy tank, meaning that we have now doubled our life. So just give me a second and uh, I'm going to see if I can go get a splinter cocoon. Okay, the answer is that no. No, I was not able to. I'll, I, I'll get it at some point. It's not a big deal. It's okay if I have, like, one or two things I have to specifically backtrack to scan later. As long as I make sure to keep note of them. But, one thing we can do... 
is access this door. Beyond this door, the path to the Aegon Wastes lies. Once fertile plains, now sand scorched and ruined by war. May life thrive there again one day. And it looks like there's a dead Loon Monoth here. This is the final entry from the warrior Jefme. Their army swells. Beasts and rogue machines join the ranks of the Horde, all eager to bring death to the Luminoth. The Ing sent these new additions to the industrial site to do battle with me while they watched from safety. Cowardly mongrels! My only regret in death is that I did not live to see the day of their defeat. May it come soon. Nice place, huh? Da 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 da. Okay. Oh. Yes! My first missile expansion! And it is going to be one of many, many, many power ups and expansion modules that I find. Oh! And there's a scan. Luminoth Lord translated, Our Heritage. Our search for, the, for a home took us through the cosmos. For many a great cycle we roamed, yet a place to call our own eluded us. In time we began to despair, feeling the search was in vain. We considered remaining among the stars until a scout returned with news of a world unlike any other. When we beheld Aether for the first time, so great was her beauty that we forsook the stars forever to live upon her surface. From that day forth, the Luminoth were of Aether, our blessed paradise. Ah, That's nice. And that means it is time to head to the first of the sub areas if you don't count the temple grounds it is time to go to the Aegon wastes a scorched desert oh we've got new enemies we've got lumites interesting a photosynthetic uh, parasite. Body has been badly damaged by sandstorms and heat exposure. Another dead Luminoth. We've also found some sand grass. Uh, and actually, there's something in here I can scan. An A-Gun Bearer Pod. Cool. Cool. Now we may proceed. Always be sure to kill local wildlife. Just in case. There's some more sand bats in case I had missed those earlier. And we have now reached the Aegon Wastes, and our first objective is going to be to get through that door there. Okay, next new enemy. We found Sand Diggers. Now, they are interesting, because when you blow up their uh, glowing eye, they begin moving from the opposite end instead. An interesting little creature. Oh, there's a door here, too. Usually those lead to save stations? 
And this one leads to a save station as well. Excellent. All in all, this is going very, very well. I think I can go a little bit further. Focus. Be careful. Okay, seriously, checklist. I'm, I'm like trying to buy time to bring up the checklist and you are not cooperating. Thank you. Whoa! Oh! These little guys can be fast when they want to be. Okay, sand digger down. Yep, I'll take those missiles. Thank you. So, what is this? Solar lens modified for use as part of a Luminoth sonic security system. Lens is connected to a sonic control system. So, that's probably not something I can interact with at this point. This looks weak. There we go. Ow! Damn sand bats. I don't think I can translate this. Nope. But that's okay, because we have another... Another uh, thing to shoot down. We can still progress perfectly easily. And there we go. Moving on. Ooh. Okay, so I'm going to need bombs to access that. Uh-oh. Pirates. Alright. We got space pirates. Pirate troopers. The space pirates suffered a serious defeat at Talon 4, yet they remain a powerful force for crime and disorder in the galaxy. Their technology continues to advance, even the lowly trooper has received numerous upgrades to his arsenal. A photonic power scythe and quantum assault cannon are now standard issue weapons for all troopers. Okay. So that means that every trooper is now capable of melee attacks. Let's try to work our way up. Oh. Is, is that a new enemy? I couldn't tell, but I didn't want to blow it up in case it was. It is a new enemy. It's a Blizzgy. A venomous insectoid. Okay. You need to die. You also need to die. Whoops. There, there was an optical illusion and I thought that I was actually jumping for somewhere. Uh, I was not actually jumping to somewhere. Boop. Uh, that's a way I haven't gone. Where does this go? This is the portal access. Okay.
That's a really weird way to get past a door. Subject terminated almost 20 years ago. Tomrega has a number of wounds caused by small explosions. Oof. That's rough, buddy. That's real rough. Ooh. I found a portal terminal. Okay. Um, I am wondering if it was possible to access anything else here. It might be... I might want to save the portal room for the next episode. So I'm going to just see real quick if there's any other passages uh, that I can actually access here. Um, no, it actually doesn't look like... At, at least it doesn't seem like there's any other direction I can reach right now. Alright, portal room it is. I don't think there's anything I can actually do in this room right now. What is this? Uh, our target is in a state of dimensional flux, unable to complete scan. 50% of its component atoms are in another dimension or on the surface of dark ether. Okay. Portal dynamo offline. Configure lens system to focus solar power on dynamo. This will energize the system. Okay. So, how do I do that? Structural analysis complete. Industrial solar lens. Okay. System analysis complete. Console used to energize and open a portal to dark ether currently offline. Oh, here we go. Oh, right. I don't have bombs. Okay. So I was supposed to go somewhere else because I am I physically cannot interact with anything in this room in a way that is useful. I I do wonder how anyone who can't turn into a one meter ball is supposed to get through this room. I can only assume that there's like some other passage that is intended for non-ball shapeshifters to use. Um, okay. War wasps need to shut the hell up for a second. Alright, I was able to jump over here. I know I can't get through that door. No, 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 we are going this way. Just look out for the sand. Can I do anything with this? Statue of Deter, the child hero of Aegon. Once he was a lowly acolyte squire, he became a warrior when the temple was attacked. All warriors but Deter were slain, leaving the boy as the soul's defender of the temple. He served Aegon for nearly a cynocycle before being lost in battle on Dark Aether. And gates, scan dates, weapons of artillery glade or higher would damage. Okay. So I'm not getting through that anytime soon. 
Right. Ah, crap. Damn it. Ran into, uh, like, shriek bats. Whatever. I'll, I'll get another shot. Shriek bats are everywhere. Ooh. Okay, this is the Aegon Temple. So, yeah, we, we all agree there's about to be a boss fight, right? Okay. Whoa, damn it. There, focus on the thing. All right, Alpha Sand Digger. A uh, large tunneling bioform, extremely well armored, target exposed eyes damage this creature. Okay. Got it. Alright, target the eyes. Or, we can wait until it's infected by ing poop. I, I suppose that's also a solution. The Bomb Guardian. This Darkling Sand Digger has absorbed the ability to generate Morph Ball Bombs. It can throw bombs with considerable accuracy and frequently lays a spread of bombs in its wake. Its head and tail are the only vulnerable spots on its body. Target them when they are vulnerable to neutralize and terminate this enemy. So this is how we are going to get a number of uh, powers during this game from uh, enemies who have absorbed them. Okay. Whoa. Alright. So you shoot the tail a few times and then the head becomes vulnerable. That looks like the way that this fight goes. Okay, I'm out of missiles. That's good to know. Okay. Ah, oh, crap. I am actually getting my butt kicked a bit. All right, we've taken off half its life. It's going pretty well, to be honest. Whoa. All right, target the head. All right, it's only got one quarter of its health left. I think one more blast of the head will be enough to defeat it. Whoa. All right. Go. Ah, damn it. Wasn't fast enough. This would be a little more convenient if I had some missiles. Yep, I'm badly hurt. I did it. I beat the bomb guardian. And about time, because I had three energy left. Woo! That... That was rough. Alright, I got Morph Ball Bombs back. Not bad. Oh my god, the energies went away. I didn't pick them up first because I figured they would be there. Oh, crap. Okay, if anything even taps me the wrong way, I'm a dead man. Uh, there's only one door I can actually go through, and that is uh, this one. I am absolutely terrified that I might die. I have not saved in a while. And that sound is not helping.
What do we have here? Boop. Uh, object point for the local energy system. So I don't actually have the energy to power this. Oh, but there is there is a dead guy. Luminoth uh, terminated 1.5 deca cycles ago. Damage from multiple weapon systems. Subject definitely went out fighting. And what is this? Luminoff Hollow Projector Online. Automated message initiated. Welcome. I am Isha, Sentinel of the Aegon Temple. This message survives my death as guidance to one who would fight the Ing. A portal to Dark Aether lies nearby. With it, you can travel to this land's shadow. You must locate a dark temple, a twisted mockery of this sacred place. Inside, you will find the energy controller you seek. The temple door is held fast by three locks. The keys for the locks are hidden throughout that dark land. Your search will be difficult. Even the very air of Dark Aether is dangerous. It can cripple the strongest of warriors. In our past struggles with the Ing, we placed a series of light crystals throughout their world. They remain today. These crystals create safe areas that will protect you from the harmful atmosphere of the Dark World. I have updated your translator module. You can access devices and doors coated with amber holograms. More lands are open to explore. When you have taken the energy from the Dark Temple, return here at once. May the light of ether serve you well. Thank merciful gods my energy is replenished. Alright. We have our objective. We're going to return to the portal terminal. We're going to activate it. We are going to travel to the shadowy dimension. And we are going to do what we can. Um, is, is there anything to translate in here? Ah! Oh, nope, that's, that's just a light. Okay. Um, Alright, I think I'm good for in here. So, thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you all on the next one.